Hello everyone and welcome to Night Sky Notebook for October 2021. Let's take a look at all the great things that are happening above you in the sky this month. First we'll take a look at the moon phases and we're going to be opening up with a new moon starting on October the 6th. Full moon will be happening around the 20th. We'll have to keep these in mind because of some meteor showers that are coming up. With the new moon, it makes it a great time to see the zodiacal light, and you'll have about two weeks of darkness to pull that off. You want to start about 90 minutes before sunrise. You need a really dark sky, and it's going to look like a, a cone of light that's coming up. You might think it's the Milky Way at first. But really, it follows the path of the planets, of the sun, the ecliptic. It's believed to be reflected dust from the early days of our solar system, collisions of all sorts of planetoids and leftover debris, what turned into be asteroids and comets. It really is rather bright and absolutely gorgeous. Get a nice dark sky, great time to check it out. We have two interesting meteor showers this month. The first is called the Draconid, and this is actually the interesting one. Draco the Dragon. You're not going to have to worry about the moon phase on this thing. We're just two days past new moon. Not going to be an issue at all. Look for it near the very bright star Vega, right by the dragon's head. Now the rates for the shower range from about 15 an hour, sometimes maybe even a little bit less, to as many as 500 an hour. Now, it's really difficult to figure out when it's going to happen. It's not very consistent. So you just have to kind of figure out what mood the dragon's going to be in tonight. But this is something you definitely want to check out. It's going to be gorgeous. October 8 and 9, the Draconid Meteor Shower. See what the sky has in store for you. Also on October 9, the planet Venus over in the southwest right after sunset. It'll be meeting up with the very thin crescent moon, and this is such a gorgeous sight. These are the two brightest objects in our nighttime sky, and they're definitely worth seeing. Absolutely gorgeous. Get out early, take a look at them. It is pretty as a picture, and it is really neat. Venus and the moon will be getting together Every month now to the end of the year, by January, Venus, I think will be getting a little bit too close to the sun to see at that point. We'll have to wait for it in the morning. So take advantage of the early evening hours to take a look at Venus and the moon on October 9th. October 12 to 21. Now this is interesting. We have a lineup of all of the outer worlds. You're not going to be able to see Venus at this time. You're not going to be able to see Mars at this time or Mercury. But if we center it up with Jupiter dead south, Saturn's going to be a little bit to the right. And even a little bit further, you'll find Pluto. And then to the left of Jupiter, you'll get to Neptune and far away will be Uranus. Now, you're not going to be able to see Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus, and they're represented by the red dots, but they're there. The two that you will be able to see will be Jupiter and Saturn. So the moon is going to be closest to Pluto on the 12th, Saturn on the 13th, Jupiter on the 14th. Each of them are about a, a lunar day away, and notice how the moon phase changes from day to day. Give me another two days to catch up to Neptune on the 16th and then Uranus on the 21st. It's really kind of neat. So you may not be able to see them, Neptune and Uranus and Pluto, but you'll know they're right there close to the moon on those days. So let's focus on Jupiter and Saturn. So again, on the 13th and 14th, 
the moon will be closest to Saturn on the 13th, closest to Jupiter on the 14th. The pairs getting further and further apart from each other as they pass through. But it's really neat to see these two beautiful worlds together. Check them out. Of course, one of the major events for the month has to be the Orionid meteor shower. These are leftover pieces of Halley's Comet. You generally see 20, 25 meteors an hour at the best time, which is about three to four in the morning on the 21st. 21st is your peak, but you'll see them on the 19th. The 20th is still really good. 21st is best early morning 21st, and in the morning of the 22nd. Check them out. However, the moon's gonna be a real problem this year. Since we're right around full moon, the sky is going to be bright. So you're not going to see as many meteors for this one. If you decide to go out and look for pieces of Halley's Comet, that's great. Just get a chaise lounge, keep nice and warm, and keep your back to the moon so you don't have the moon shining in your eyes. And finally, on October 25th, Mercury. We're looking early morning sky, 7 a.m. Low horizon is good, but it'll be a good 15 degrees up. That's about a fist and a half held out at arm's length. Binoculars might be helpful, but Mercury is rather bright. It's a beautiful world. Not many people get to see it. So it's a great time to get out there and take a look at Mercury as you begin your morning tea or coffee. This is really going to be a wonderful month. The nights are nice and cool. Everything is crisp. Enjoy October. For the latest information, you can check out my blog, Night Sky Notebook. Until next time, keep looking up.